Welcome back, folks, and it is finally time for Gerudo Town here. Alright, guys, first things first. We do have some Karak seeds here in town. Now, I didn't get this before purposefully because I didn't want to have it already done uh, when I got to this whole Secrets of Gerudo Town deal. So now this one's super easy to get. Just hop down into the sewer system, just like when we found the shelter in the first place. And there should be a stump that we have to ascend up through at some point. Okay, so yeah, you have to go through a couple of waterfalls there and you'll come out into this little spot. Alright, Karak seed number one, do and done. This other one should be on top of the chimney here. Whatever this is, the bottle, I think it's a chimney. But it looks like a bottle. Okay, there is another yet above the uh, buildings here. And I do believe this one starts at this palm tree. It's either this one or the one to my left. And as well a treasure chest. Okay, it is not over here. I think that's where it ends up. So the one that I'm thinking of, we have to go to the other, whatever, spot tree. There's my pedestal. Can I already see it coming into view. Okay, and this is a timer one, so I like to go ahead and... Get a good running head start on that while I hit the button on the way off the ledge. This one doesn't last forever. Alright folks, now that we got Karak Seed stuff out of the way, there are some treasure chests of note. Now particularly, I already got these just because it was kind of part of, you know, what I was doing over here. It was good loot at the time, so I went for it. But there should be, like, three treasure chests out here in the open somewhere. Uh, pretty good loot. Gemstones, etc. So go ahead and scoop those on up. So check this out. <laughs> Alright, so for right now, we're going to go ahead and talk to the princess again. And she's going to invite you to do a side quest. Aha! That thing was driving me bonkers. I should have known it was down here. Out of the way. Alrighty guys, here is one of our quest givers. Okay, so what we're gonna do is right here at this wall, take a sharp left. Blow up the bomb wall. It'll take us to another one. Okay, so getting back to pictures, guys, this one is tricky. Honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as that little red quest marker is in the screen. You are good to snap your picture. And that one is located here in the kissing room. Oh, there's a thing in here we need to take a picture of. A real quick way to get yourself locked up, go ahead and throw in your Yiga mask. Alright, once inside, go ahead and get your photo. And to get out, you just simply take the mask off and talk to the guard. And you are now out of prison. Okay guys, so we're back in the kissing room now to get the other statue. Simply proceed on through, take a quick left. So you can use a Karak leaf here. I just like to go ahead and sacrifice a fan. Okay, once you got that cleared, go ahead and stick that sucker in its place. And get your photo. Okay, with four photos in hand, we're going to go ahead and go back to the quest giver. Mm. Eh? Alright, that is DU and done. Not a bad little prize, 100 rupees. In this game, that's a good prize. Alright folks, notice this NPC just showed up here. So go ahead and talk to her real quick. Mm. And this opens up. The whole point of this deal. Alright guys, so just as the game indicated, we have to bring all those orbs over to this spot. 
Okay, so first things first. Right where she was standing initially. Alright, and that is the little comma. I don't know what else to call that thing. It kind of looks like a comma to me. So we need to put that in the appropriate statue. Like so. Okay, one down, six to go. Okay, so we got one in this room right up top side here. Nice little hiding spot for that one. Kind of funny they give you this dinky loot along the way. Okay, it kind of gets confusing back in here, but just remember the jail cell here. And then go to this little room off to the right. We should have a loose one sitting here, the double dot. Okay, guys, we've got another quest giver here. Let's go ahead and get her talked to. All right, folks, so this is kind of our destination here. I'm just going to put a pin down. And just for quick travel, this is one of my favorite modes of transportation. I probably didn't need the light on there, but I was lazy. So that got built. Alright, and we're going to start heading over toward that campfire. Now you can really see that temple from miles away, can't you? I just killed a birdie. Alright folks, so Molduga. I had a great system in TOTK for taking these things down. So that being said... Go ahead and get his attention. And once he's airborne, go ahead and lob a bomb over there and you should be able to uh, hit his body. Arm up, suit up, and eat up, you know my mantra. And then this fight should be over pretty quick, so I'll go ahead and do a high-level attack power mule. Let's do this thing. Look at that damage, guys. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get these monster parts. If I don't, no harm, no foul. All right, folks, so go ahead and talk to Kara here. Get your diamond. And that completes that quest. Alright guys, so once all that's completed, uh, you'll notice Dahlia is finally here. So now check it out, it is 6.45 p.m. I don't know if that really matters. Maybe completing the missing owner had something to do with that. Alright folks, here it is. We're looking for a stuffed sand seal. Alright, so it's right by the kissing room. Go ahead and pick that bad boy up. And that finishes your quest. Alright, once we got Dahlia satisfied. Now, notice that other metal orb that I threw down here is no longer down here. I was kind of wondering if that was going to reset, you know, getting away a little too far. So I picked that one up from the staircase over here on the right. So I don't know if I can fuse these two together now so I can, you know, speed up the process of carrying them. I'm about to find that out. Noise. Okay, I'm not sure which one she gave me credit for. I think this one, maybe? Alright, folks. Next quest on the chopping block. Go ahead and talk to Isha here. And just like before, four diamonds, you know, that's already kind of pricey. The ten flint, it's no big deal usually. Okay, so now I've got the Gerudo Scimitar already, luckily, in my inventory. I've also got a Gerudo Shield. So let's go ahead and get this done. And there's your Scimitar of the Seven. And the Daybreaker, which, it's whatever. Alright folks, I'm going to go after this one next. Now this one's not exactly close, and that's okay. We can actually get there pretty quickly. 
Um, just like in Breath of the Wild, remember all those statues that are just kind of like randomly scattered throughout the desert? They're pointing their swords in different directions. You kind of got to just follow the statues. And it eventually takes you into an area down in here. And uh, this will get me close here. But the reason I said it would be a quick trip, because we already got our Skyview Tower. Okay, so on BOTW, this is, I believe, the skeleton structure the shrine was hiding under. So this is also essentially where all the statues are pointing to. Okay, now there's no more shrine here, but there is going to be a cave. Probably didn't need a five-shot burst for that. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is lob a bomb in there. So you're going to have to kind of play basketball here a little bit. Just like so. Alright, welcome to the cave. And guys, it's one of these. Lots and lots of bomb walls to blow up. So, it's gonna be a party. But just like top side guys, you can kind of follow the guidance of the statues. And you can see some stuff coming into view here now. Namely, we got another uh, Guidance statue here. Okay, so I got Rock Salt. So I take back what I said about, you know, gemstones. Oh, well, okay, I got an Opal too. But it ain't gonna be great gemstones, let's just put it that way. Okay, now I got Flint. Moving up in the world. And I have not blown myself up with bombs yet. I probably shouldn't have said anything. Oh, check that out. We got a sapphire. Okay, I'm getting real low on bombs here. I mean, not low, low, but... Okay, so now we got another guidance statue here. Okay, whoop. there's our breakthrough. Alright guys, there it is from the old game. Not that I think it's a real, you know, key piece of equipment, but... Okay, now we're not actually done in here. This is actually considered a legit cave, so we've got a bubble frog in here, believe it or not. Alright guys, now I wanted to show this because there is a bubble frog in here as I mentioned, but there's also one of these things. Okay, so if you needed a Gerudo shield for that whole quest line there, you've got one in a chest at your disposal. Actually, that was from a like like, so you may or may not have gotten that shield. Alright, guys, so if memory serves, that bubble frog is like this way. I'm gonna go check that out. It's either this or uh, it's right behind me. Okay, there he is. Wow, four pieces of amber out of a rare node. That is a new one for the history books. All right, so just to show you where that secret compartment was relative to the other things that we saw, I'll try to kind of back out here the way we came. So this is the main room we first, you know, came down in. That's where I opened the drawbridge gate thingy, so basically the bubble frog is in this room right behind this wall. And of course to access that you kind of got to go around, take a couple of immediate lefts, and that'll get you to your bubble frog. Alright, back at Karakara Bazaar. Now I mentioned there was an orb here. Okay, so we're going to have to talk to these two yahoos. Okay, lost in the dunes. So yeah, we can't get that orb until we finish this. 
chorus once again. Quest marker has absolutely no help whatsoever. So, that being said, we are going to exit out the west gate here and take a sharp left. And I think I've already discovered this cave. It's that oasis source. So I should be able to show you on the map. Now there's two ways to get in there. One is the way I'm going. The other way is if you jump down into the well here in the bazaar, uh, there's a tunnel that kind of leads right to that, that spot as well. So the campfire is a dead giveaway that, you know, somebody's missing here. As well as the shield and the spear. Alright, once you pop down, go ahead and talk to old boy here. Alright, so now basically he feels like he's trapped, there's no exit, so basically we gotta blast our way out of here. Lucky for me, I still got a rock hammer. Alright, so before I get too far into the cave here, I'm gonna go back and talk to old boy. Alright, so alright folks, go ahead and talk to the quest giver once again, that should clear all this for us. Now guys, before I actually get out of here, there's a treasure chest I mentioned the first time we came through here, and I said we couldn't get it yet. Uh, the reason being was because we didn't have the whole lightning temple done. Now that that's done, we can actually open these chests. Alright folks, now unfortunately there's not a quick way to get this orb back into Gerudo Town where it needs to go. You could build a Zonai device, you know, and get it there probably a little quicker. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it the old-fashioned way and walk it all the way back over there. Okay, there's a treasure chest, like, literally right un underneath me here. That, uh, structure that the ball is right next to, there's, like, a ledge under that. I don't know if I'll actually be able to show it to you. But yeah, just hop down there, and you'll find a treasure chest kind of hiding behind that column. I wonder if I can evade his attack while I'm ultra-handing something. Yes, I can. That's good to know, because I already know my worthless followers are not going to be able to kill this bat. Give me my watermelon. Wow. Alright folks, so that last orb is actually right here. Very, very deceiving and very well hidden. Alright guys, finally! Now, once we got the orb in place, the game should take over. Boom, baby. Okay, go ahead and go down the secret entrance. Alright guys, once again, we gotta go somewhere and it's not close. I doubt he's going to leave me alone long enough to get this ball where it needs to go. But I'm going to gamble. I'm going to see what happens here. Uh, he's trying. Ooh, he almost got me that time. I got hung up on the stairs. I cannot believe he has not drilled me yet. Ouch, there it is. Oh, that's not him anymore. We got a party. Uh, lucky for me, it looks like I exceeded their chase distance. So now I don't have to deal with Lizzles, I can just put the ball in the hole. Alright. It's a big one, guys. It's a long quest line here. So go ahead and go on inside our secret compartment. Okay, now if you fall all the way down like I just did, you're gonna have to find those two torches there and ascend up to the top of that ledge there. And that'll get you back on track to where we need to go.
All right, guys, just continue on down the, the winding stairwell here. All right, we got some, uh, yeah, that. Ah, oh, nuts, I didn't quite make it. All right, guys, continuing on our merry way down the... Now, this is all very linear. Uh, you can't really get lost in here. And here it is. We finally made it. And a gold rupee. I think that's like one of three gold rupees in this entire game. Okay, so go ahead and talk to the stone tablet here. That's going to advance the quest line a little further. So to complete it, go back to Gerudo Town here. We'll have to go back into the shelter. Alright folks, once we return to the quest giver, this should close out our quest. And there it is, guys. As labor-intensive as it was, we needed it. Okay, so there's another quest giver there. Make sure you talk to her and to the ruins. So once you do that, the NPC will walk over to this spot. Go ahead and talk to her once more. Okay, once we offer to give her a ride, we are going to have to rent what they call a sleigh seal. Alright guys, once we got the sleigh seal, go ahead and speak to her one more time. And that should get her mounted onto the sleigh. Go ahead and ride. And in case you're wondering where we're going, guys, the game isn't super clear about this. It's right actually here. So it'll probably start feeling like a familiar route, like maybe we did this in the old game. Kind of, sort of. That's the whole sand seal race. It just looks a lot different now. Okay, so once we get close enough, the game will once again take over. Alright. Not a bad little price for giving somebody a ride. Alright folks, now before I cut video, that pretty much does it for all the quests, you know, all the secret stuff. Now there's one thing that I've already done, and that's Gerudo Secret Club. So, you know, I kind of feel like that should be a part of this video. Now, a real good indicator exactly where it is, I mean, it's in the same spot as the old game, you know, it's down here in this locked room right under old boy here. He's kind of giving you a clue as to how to get in there. So what we need to do is go in this waterway. And then from here... We are looking for this little... Itty bitty opening. Now that's one way in there. I'll show you guys kind of like an easier way, but this is it guys. You're looking for this concrete kind of deal. The beginning there, that's where she's dropping the bottles down. So just to kind of give you guys frame of reference. Now this is another, you know, waterfall thing that you can drop down in. But anyway, just follow the river or whatever this is, the sewer. Yeah, I hope it's not a sewer. Ugh. And then we're going to take a right on this fork. And you might have to use some bombs here or a rock hammer. You'll have to bust through some boulders here. But once again, when you get to the spot with the concrete ceiling, feel free to ascend and that'll pop you into Gerudo Secret Club. If you want to just be able to get in and out of the store, you know, like yours truly, uh, you'll have to blow up or move some crates out of the way they're blocking the door. And you will then have access to Gerudo Secret Club. So folks, I know it was a lot. We got a lot of questing done there. But I genuinely hope that helps you all out. If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment, like, share, subscribe, and comment. That is always appreciated. And folks, until the next time, best of luck and happy hunting. So guys, we're going to have a lot of side quests. Excuse me. Open to us now. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chill out. 
Am I supposed to kiss that? Yo, I ain't kissing that. You're kidding, right? I ain't kissing that. Oh, whoops. The gorgeous locks of his hair blow gently in the breeze. Her nose, much bigger than his. Kata. Kata. Katata. Did you know that your name spelled backwards is attack? That's awesome. That doesn't look like Zelda. Who drew this? Someone's been playing Super Mario Bros. Seriously, you got the moons, you got the diamonds, you've got the chomping plants coming in from upside down, you've got the mushrooms, of course. That's Princess Peach, I think. And last but not least, we got the evil chicken Goomba. Did you draw that? Doesn't even look like a Goomba. I wonder if I'll get lucky. Figured it couldn't hurt my chances. Class, this is the before picture. Shh, I'm trying to pay attention. Touch me on the backside one more time. You guys have the exact same hair. And you guys are wearing the exact same clothes. And you guys are wearing the exact same shoes. Twinsies! You guys kiss those? That's not the kind of kissing room I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I know the feeling. I need to go find Dahlia, whoever that is. Who's Dahlia? Have you seen Dahlia? Have you? Dahlia? Anyone? Oh, how did you get here? You're like... Old. That's not Dahlia. Who are you? That is not Dahlia. Where is Dahlia? I'm running out of, like, ideas. Dahlia. Not Dahlia. Is this Dahlia? That is not Dahlia, by the way. This reminds me of an ACDC song. And just by, and we're gonna kind of head just straight west-ish. Okay guys, and we're heading right for that tower there. Now the quest mentions a sinkhole and that's gonna be key here in just a second. Hmm. Where are you going, dude? Both y'all, where are you going? This can't end well. Nope, not at all. They were getting reinforcements. Why did I just take this bad boy nest out again? Wow, thick skull. Alright, I have no idea where this dude is. They mentioned in the sinkhole. So what I'm thinking is it's probably like down in here somewhere in a little alcove. Cool dreads, bro. Oh, I am not going to remember that in 10 seconds from now. 3,800, 2969. <laughs> 69. But there is a shortcut. I'm going to show you that here right now. Wow, it won't let me take the shortcut. The ball is too big. Okay, so I guess we got to go do it the old-fashioned way. This is the second time I've had to carry balls across the desert. Come on, baby. Get in there. Take your time. Her haircut kind of reminds me of Justin Bieber. Is that really not going to fall in the hole? 